I'm going to show you a very easy to use and very effective tool to help you write your blog post. Blog posts that are very well researched, have supporting images, have some quotes, even have some tables if you wanted to. It will write in your tone of voice and even have some supporting contextually relevant YouTube videos. And at the end, a nice little FAQ section. Before we get to the tool, I want to make sure we understand what makes a good blog post and why we should still be writing good blog posts in the era of AI search engines. Firstly, let's understand what makes a good blog post. Now, I just want to make sure that you understand that creating a blog post is one piece of the SEO puzzle. There are many more to be able to rank well, but if you get this piece right, it'll make your life a lot easier. In essence, a good blog post is one that adds value to the reader. If they're, answer, if they're asking a question and your blog post answers that question really well, that's something that we want to do. To do that, it needs to be well researched and we need to reference that high quality information. We need to link to that high quality information. Ideally, we also want to internally link this blog post to other sections of our website. Internally linking is one of those things that is missed a lot in SEO, but is really, really important. And if we can, we want to add some supporting images and videos throughout it. And this can take a long while to do, even with AI tools. But using SEO Writing AI, which is the tool we're going to be using today, you can do this extremely quickly and extremely effectively. Funnily enough, they're also today's video sponsors. A massive shout out to them. But they are today's video sponsor because they are very good and I like the output they produce. You can try SEO writing today for a 25% discount using the link in the video description below. I suggest you check it out. And using AI writing tools like this, you can get results like this where over a period of time, if you are consistent with writing blog posts, this by the way is results from completely AI generated blog posts. You just need to know how to do it. You're getting they're getting all of a sudden about you know 68 daily clicks and it's going to keep on increasing and increasing. And organic traffic tends to convert better than any other traffic source. So this stuff is really actually adding value to the bottom line of a business. And you can tell this is just blog traffic because I've I've filtered it out by the URLs that contain blog, the word blog in them. So Make sure you sign up seowriting.ai. We're going to try the one click blog post feature and we're going to place our main keyword. One little bit of advice here is I recommend you use a long tail keyword, more precisely a question to answer because a question is a long tail keyword. And we're finding that when you do this, you have a lot higher chance of coming up number one or being referenced as a source in the AI overviews or search GPT or things like perplexity. So for this blog post, I want to write about what's the best way to prompt Quen 2.5 Max, which is a model from Alibaba. So I'm just going to say here, the main keyword will be how to prompt Quen 2.5 Max. And I'm going to select generate a title and it's going to create the title here for you, for me. If I want the title to write the title myself, I can do that. That's no problems at all. The next thing I'm going to do is go to the core settings, the language I'm going to use Australian English because, well, by the tone of voice, I'm an Australian. The article type I'll leave as none. I can choose though a how-to guide, a listicle, a product review, news, comparison. You get the idea. The article size is something that people kind of really fuss over when they don't need to too much. So how do we know what is the best article size for the article that we want to write? It's a difficult question to answer because simply making the article longer won't make the article better. Sometimes it actually has the opposite effect. As a rule of thumb, the more complex the topic that you're writing about, the longer the article needs to be. However, not always, but use that as a rule of thumb. So if you're writing a blog post about how to make a piece of toast, it probably can be covered in less than 500 words, so you can choose the extra small feature. For this instance, I'm gonna to go to medium. The tone of voice, I'm gonna leave as none because I wanna show you a very cool feature they have that will write like me, so I'm gonna leave that empty there. And they've released a brand new feature called Write with DeepSeek R1 plus real-time access to the SERP, the search 
engine results page. And I want to choose that. I like the fact that I can write with DeepSeek R1 because I've done many videos about me using this model for content copywriting and I think it's quite good. So for me, that's a plus, I'll choose that. The point of view, I'll say I, because I like to write there. And the target country, which we're writing, is the United States. I'm gonna leave that as it is because I personally know that the majority of my clientele and my viewers are from the United States. The brand voice, this is one of my favorite features of this. You see here that I've got a couple of examples, the Tech Truth Teller. That is my brand of voice apparently. Don't know about the name, but I'm gonna show you how to create your own brand voice with this. I'm going to click the drop down and go create brand voice. And here you add something that you've written before, let's say a LinkedIn post, an email, whatever that is, you can paste the text in there. If you've got a website or a blog post, it can scrape that for you, or even a file, a PDF that you may have written before, you can chuck that in there. What happens if you don't have any of that? If you're brand new to this, no worries, I've also got you covered. You're going to use a free speech to text transcription tool. I use otter.ai. I'll leave it linked in the video description below. This is a free tool that you can use for quite a bit for free. I'm gonna choose the recording feature and I'm going to ramble on about a subject that I like quite a bit. I've done this before and you can see that it's transcribing this real time. You want to talk for about four minutes, pick a topic that you are passionate about and don't be afraid to use slang that you often use or maybe a couple of sayings like never underestimate stupidity in large numbers, particularly in the internet. <laughs> be yourself as much as you can. Now with that transcription done, I'm gonna show you one that I did the other day. I put where I talked for a good four minutes. I'm going to go back here and paste that in there. I'm gonna click create brand of voice. It's gonna start analyzing the brand of voice, start synthesizing it into understandable chunks that really illustrate what your tone of voice is. And if you don't like the name of it, obviously you can change it. I'm gonna go example here. And you can go through the different attributes that it's kind of placed to your tone of voice. If you don't agree with something, you can change it or you can add another element as well. I've done this a few times, so I'm not gonna save the brand of voice because I've got a couple already. Now that I've got my tone of voice created, I'm going to choose that one here. And this is a really, really handy feature, details to include. So if you've got a service that solves the problem of the of the topic that you're answering. Maybe you are writing about the best way to check your PP, your leaky pipes in your house and you're a plumber. You can put, hey, we also fix this service. In my instance, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mention the fact that I have an online community where we teach people how to maximize their search engine optimization, helping them rank number one with AI tools and automations, much like this one. Our online community is called AI Ranking. Wink, 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 nudge, nudge, dirty plug. If you wanna check it out, I'll leave it linked below. But I'm going to kind of pick the URL here, go back to the section here and I'm just going to say if you want to learn more about how to maximize AI tools for SEO I would recommend you check out AI ranking our online school community that'll be the details that ideally it includes in a natural manner throughout the blog post the media hub is where you select how many images how many YouTube videos you would like to add in there and how you want those images generated Number of images, three, that's fine. I'm gonna use them as a photo realism. Uh, the YouTube videos, again, one. The structure you can change if you wanted to start with a fact first, a quotation or whatever, you can do that. And then you can add other sections to the structure whether you want to or not. Let's say I didn't want a conclusion. Um, for this instance, I'm going to say no to tables just so you can see that when I write this, it won't have tables as opposed to the other example that I showed you in the beginning. The other features, H3s, list, italics, quotes, takeaways, FAQs, bold, give me the lot, I'll have them in my blog post. If you have a WordPress website, this is where things even get better for you. You can give it your website and it will crawl the links of your website, understand the context of them, and then internally link them throughout your blog post whenever it deems appropriate to do so. I don't have a WordPress website, and if you don't, no problems, here's another thing that you can do. Go in externally linking, whilst it's not externally linking, it doesn't matter, it's kind of a workaround. I'm gonna to go to custom and give it a link from a previous blog post that I've written. This one is about how to prompt 4.5, but I wanna make sure that it has it throughout there. 
evenly, uh, contextual enrichment, do follow, yes. This is very important. I want to give access to the internet. I want to connect this whole thing to the internet so that it researches and analyzes 100 of the most relevant website with statistical data to integrate into the blog post. This is what makes it so good. It understands real world data. And if it sees appropriate, it'll inject it into your blog post. Do I want to source the links or not? Uh, sure, I'll put the link name there. Search real time, citations. Yes, and I'm going to, and if you want to exclude URLs, let's say you don't want to mention your competitors, you can place in the URLs of your competitors in here. For now, I'm just gonna to go to no. This is a very handy feature as well because you're gonna get three or four for the price of one. This allows you to repurpose your content for other social media platforms. Why not use that beautiful content that this tool is going to create for Facebook, LinkedIn, and Pinterest? You want to make the most of it. You want to maximize this content and grow your organic footprint or your digital footprint as much as you can. I'm going to say yes to Facebook, to uh, LinkedIn, and to Pinterest. And now I'm kind of ready to go. I can leave the rest as it is, and I'm going to go to run. This is going to take a couple of minutes, and I'm going to have my blog post done. Here's one I generated earlier with the exact same settings. And I can see here that it said mastering Quint 2.5, maximizing prompting step-by-step -step instructions. Perfect. And I can go through it. Really high quality images. Must be using a pretty good image generation um, AI. And then I can see the blog post. It's got even my YouTube video there that it's thought it's the most appropriate to do one. If you don't have a YouTube channel, don't worry about it. But leave the YouTube channel that it does select or the YouTube video that it does select there. This is going to potentially expand the on time spent of somebody on your blog post when they're watching the video, which is a good signal for Google to have. And the content looks really, really good. A few more images here and at the bottom, I should have a little FAQ section. There it is. And I wanna see, did it include my call to action? And it has. Leverage community resourcing. Joining communities focused on AI and ranking strategies can significantly enhance your experience with Quen 2.5. The AI Ranking School community offers expert tips. So it understood what I wanted it to do, how I wanted it to integrate it, and it's even linking to that there. Perfect. I like it. Now, is this ready to be published right away? You need to be the judge of that, but I prefer to edit it and go through it and see where I can add my other two cents, add more values in here, things that I want to delete, for example. For example, this section here. All right, let's get hands on with prompting Quen 2.5. I can delete all that. I don't really need it. So I've spent a fair bit of time with this model. Perfect. I can get straight to it. This is really much of a muchness how you like to write. You will notice on the left-hand top side, the AI and the AI write and check. This will help you kind of even optimize your blog post a little bit more, but a big grain of salt here, this is gamification. So just because you're going to reach 100% here, doesn't necessarily going to mean that it's going to rank 100%. So if you like how it's written, even if it says 50%, then go with your gut instinct over these tools. Should you ignore them completely? No, but use them as a guide, not as a complete source of truth. They shouldn't kind of take away a few of the things that you want to write about because that's going to detract the percentage here. Use it as a guide, not as a source of truth. But apart from that, I'm really happy with this and I can publish this directly to my website now. If I want to, and if I've got WordPress and I click publish, I can connect my WordPress website and I can publish it right away, maybe as a draft or even leave it published. But if you don't have a WordPress website, no problems. You just copy the whole thing and you paste it in the back end of your website. It is that simple. Really good tool, really effective, and it can solve the problem of having to spend hours and hours on writing good content because writing good content can be an absolute game changer when it comes to your SEO strategy. And yes, even in a day of AI powered search, engines. If you like this type of video and you want more tools like this that will help you maximize your SEO, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you found any value in this video at all, make sure you like the video so more people see it. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.